I'm not liking where this is going. My young brothers in the hood is knowing we ain't growing, but showing no signs of stopping. I'm watching and I'm not liking where this is going. Growing in spurts from Generation X to the XT generation Chasing dreams of being the next American gangster Thanks to the word wankster Brothers trading in goals in life For the right to be two quarters You see these are the new orders of slavery I'm made to see how white the overpowered was black Even in 2008 See when I stare into my young brother's eyes I see white overpowering Pupils dilated from popping personal product the saw buck urn, purchases of the white tea, big enough to cover the black skin as well as half the black soul embodied in black men who never learn how to be the black man God molded them to be. Just a soulless entity. The white cocaine, sold to him from me, overpowers every inch of his black body as well as his credibility, making it much more than a euphoria, but a new story for your kids when they routinely ask, why is there no food on the table? And the favor you provide will coincide with your last riddle. I'm sure that Malcolm Little will be ashamed to claim the last name of the very generation we disgracing, but maybe if we too had Caucasian blood in our streams, we too would be seen as living for something as opposed to dying for nothing. Daily. I'm not liking where this is going, and I'm beginning to lose faith. You see, young dudes hate to feel inadequate, so we feel like we have the flip sacks to a key. That's the key to getting where we're going. But how we knowing what we're getting, and most of us have never been south or north avenue, or north of the influence of marijuana. And though my mom and the government have the truth as well as they do Osama, so there's no telling where K Vaughn come from. But the fact is, they want to send me back. That's why so many of us pretend we rap, cause when we black, opportunity rarely comes knocking at the door. Just the crackhead at the basement window searching for some end or rubber fix so we fix them cause it's hard to survive when you broke and the record is harder to get than coke and coke is easier to get than a job cause the job is harder to get the reparations oh, so wow. frustrations frolic in the soul of a young man who wants to do right but was too black to have been born white but that's how it cause I ain't one of the people stand around not moving a muscle I understand but I probably never approve of the hustle see I'm approving the struggle because besides having a relative fixation on time to time I've never moved a dime in my life but I look like I do right See, I'm not totally believing that looks can be deceiving because I don't look like a poet. We all know it. Well, in retrospect, I'm not a poet. This is not a poem. I do not write poetry. My mouth speaks what my eyes see, what my mind justifies, what my heart tells me. Society doesn't want to be exposed. I write with my eyes closed and my hands behind my back because black struggles are so common. What I spent writes itself. The uneducated black teen indicts itself. Unintentionally living crooked because the hardest question you will ever face is not found in an SAT booklet. It's whether you be in the next five years. I'm praying on what I'm saying could have your attention swam from Lil Wayne and his broken verbs to me and my spoken word, but me and my spoken word ain't talking about smoking herb or flipping no coke and burrs, so that's one of my biggest fears. I shed tears from my brothers that don't know if there are more of us in prison than in college. Leaving my skin as gray as the walls that we are almost destined to meet because I'm right in the middle. I guarantee that Malcolm Little would be ashamed to claim the last name of the very generation we disgracing, but maybe if we too had Caucasian blood in our streams, we too would be seen as living for something as as opposed to dying for nothing. Daily, our mayor, Richard the Nigger Slayer, tearing down Cabrini for green. It seems I don't agree with all of his decisions, but I'm actually happy there are more prisons than schools. Cause you are fool and think this is just gonna sit back and change itself. Newsflash, gang bangers don't bang for health. This has been given no reason to value life. Take my advice. See, I don't speak, I preach the truth. I would beseech the booth, but music is the only way to reach the youth. So read a book, read a book, read a motherfucking book, and realize that the XC generation was one generation X because it was the very generation Malcolm died. Of event. I'm not having sent anything, I'm just trying to restore Martin Luther King to the face up position in his grave. Trying to stop the resurrection of slaves and it's impossible single handedly, so I'm demanding we do it together. The ball is in your court, my young brothers. I can't teach you to be a man, cause see, I'm still learning too. Determine your fate, don't let your fate determine you. Yeah! yeah.